Ah, United Manners channel. How are you guys? And where are you watching us from? I go by the names of Rock and David. It's my like button, comment, and share. If you're watching us for the very first time, endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. I'm here to bring you the story of Ghana, you know, Bruno Fernandes, Scott McTominay, all injured and a doubtful the game of football we're going to be playing against Sheffield at Old Trafford. Smash the like button, comment, and share. If you're totally watching us for the very first time, endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. <laughs> now, we thank God for the gift of life the Muslims, Barak Laufikum, and let's obviously head down to what this story is all about. Eric Ten Hag is going to hit to conduct the pre match press conference for the club of Man United and he has gone ahead not to come in through with some good news and the news that came in through read as follows that we had an injury problem with Ganacho. that's why we took him off during the game but i think he'll be fine scott mctominy we have to assess him today really doubtful rashford is also doubtful and there was also an issue with bruno fernandez with a hand but i think he can make it we have some doubts going into the game tomorrow so let's first start it off with alejandro ganacho <clears throat> he was taken off for precaution and that's why the manager took him off i think i was gonna have to come up with a better explanation as to why he went ahead to take him off because no one would have gone ahead to agree with him because in all the games out of the last four games we're gonna hate to obviously play before ganacho goes off we are in the lead you take off ganacho we lose our lead you know so looks like the manager needs to revise certain things that he does i've gone ahead obviously come out and really criticize the way i was going to obviously act out of certain things but if at all it's true then it was a move in the right direction but i think even rashford would have gone ahead to follow up thereafter because you have a mad diallo who can come off and really play off those wings very well if you're playing against coventry <coughs> why do you need to obviously play rashford all those minutes get Ahmad diallo on and say to it that he really plays on the right or left and <clears throat> anthony plays on the right or left depending on to that kid but if ganacho is injured bruno injured scott mctominy injured rashford injured that shows you that we are nearing our three or four players that haven't going to miss out in a game of football in the premier league that we're going to hit play this season to really miss them out into that tie of Sheffield that is tomorrow because Ganacho, Dalo, <coughs> Onana and Bruno Fernandes are the only foot players for the club of Man United that haven't gone ahead to miss out on any game we've gone ahead to play this week especially because of injury now if they're really doubtful you really think that something better should be done I saw at a certain point when Bruno was like holding his back thigh for like i think the hamstring was really paining but all in all it's really very very bad for the club of man united if at all we're gonna hit obviously find ourselves in a position of really having all those misses when you go in the game of sheffield united you at least want to sit it that with your defense having problems and casimiro might obviously play in the central defense again with the manager sorry with uh harry Maguire. you wouldn't like to be having all those players out especially Bruno Fernandes, <coughs> Ganacho, and Scott McTominay. Because for Rashford, I don't want to see him play for Man United until this season comes to an end. Maybe he goes out and sorts his problems. But for Ganacho, you need him, you need Bruno, and uh, Scott McTominay. Bruno Fernandes and Ganacho to obviously power your attacking, uh, your attacking phases in the final third of the page. And for Scott McTominay, to come in through to play in that double pivot with Kobe Mainu. That's what you want into that game against Sheffield. And I think we need that win badly. We need that win badly. With six games to go for the club of Man United, if we can really get in uh, more 12 points, I think we would have gone ahead to surpass the worst ever record set by Man United in a season of finishing 58. Before Rafragni came in through, we were at 64. That was the worst run for the club of Man United. And when Rafragni came in through, he ended his season with 58 points, though he finished sixth courtesy of Brighton beating West Ham. If Brighton had gone ahead to lose to West Ham, then Man United would have gone to be playing in the Conference League. So that is it for the players, but they are really very that is really gonna be a very huge miss for us. And we wouldn't like to obviously go into action when you're missing out onto those players. And um I would fancy the club of Man United to obviously put in the required shift to call up the best activists of the players to put in the shift. But all in all, looks like they are doubtful. 
but we might really see them really sure. But for Bruno Fernandes, uh, Ganacho, and Scott McTominay, I'm sure they might show up. But for Marcus Rashford, I don't want him to show up. That is it. I don't want him to show up. But it shows you how bad this season has got to be. And for everyone who says that a manager should be sacked, tell me a manager who can perform very well when he's not having all his players. For Man City, when they never had Rodri and Kevin De Bruyne, in the six games they went ahead to play, <clears throat> they were knocked out by Newcastle in the AFL Cup. They were beaten by Wolverhampton Wanderers in the Premier League. They went ahead to draw three games, right? Those are five, and they won one. You get? So, out of the six games where they're really not having only two players, they drew <clears throat> four times, lost one, and won one. You understand? For Spurs, when they never had their players, they went ahead to lose four consecutive games. But compare the injuries. We've gone ahead to have as Man United, the injuries that Spurs and uh, Man United have gone ahead to have. All has not gone on well, I tell you. So I want everyone who really comes out and says, Eric Ten Hag should be sacked. I want you to present your f I want you to present that with facts. Tell me a manager who can operate throughout a season and really perform very well if at all he doesn't have his best players. On the field of play i've told you man city without two only kevin de Bruyne and without kevin de Bruyne and rodri out of the six games they played they lost one drew four and i think they lost two drew three and won one but for man united lisandro martinez look sure um casimiro um who else mm. Rasmus Hoyland, Veran. So, almost five players for the club of Man United that make the starting 11 have been on and off. The constants in the team have been Dalo, Honana, <clears throat> Kobe Mainu, Bruno Fernandes, Ganacho, you know. But even Rasmus Hoyland is going to be having some days off. So, let's not obviously come in here to obviously blame the manager for that. But I think. It's really going to be a highly contested game for Man United, but it's a chance for these players to come in through and obviously raise, especially those that the manager thinks can come in through and do all get the job done and dusted. But the return is, I don't know whether Amrabat is going to return. I don't know whether uh, Mount is going to return. <coughs> Kambuala, we wait and see what the manager is going to tell us late in the night when everything really goes on as to plan so we're here to obviously bringing you more and 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 more as far as the rest is really concerned now we go to eric ten hag just gone ahead and said we lost control for 20 minutes versus coventry we also had bad luck three two three three we were very lucky in the end clear penalties was very good and we had and we made it to the final it's a huge achievement for the club of Manchester United. And he said twice in two years is magnificent for me as a manager. Four cup finals in four in four years. The comments are a disgrace. So Eric Ten Hag, last season, he played in two finals. The Carabao Cup, FA Cup, lost one. Then he went ahead to play in the finals. He's got to play in the finals of the FA Cup this season, right? And when he was at Ajax, he went ahead to win something like their FA Cup in there for you. So he believes that is really great. But he says that we are literally lucky in the end. But you ask yourself, even Coventry was lucky because pulling three goals back, you know, that, requ that requires luck. That is it. Because... If they pulled all those and we never went ahead to pull out one, that is really luck because if you put in more, then they really get out and really get to know that looks like it's not going to be our day. And now, this complacency, Ten Hag has gone ahead and obviously explained it as to why his players lost focus into those games and why they shouldn't obviously lose focus again while playing. He said, I know that. So first of all, the most important thing we can do to put ourselves in a winning position is by good structure and we have seen that on many occasions. We have seen by the first goal and other games, but bring the game over the line. Some things have to do with mentality, physics, and we don't have the tools as well. 
when it talks about not having the tools, it's all about not having the players believe that can obviously take him into the levels of obviously competing to really with other teams. But the mentality is a huge word that he has gone ahead to obviously come up and really tell us about because people's mentality levels, especially for the players of Man United, is really down. And you are a manager like Eric Ten Hag, it really affects you because there are things that you cannot really instill in a player when he has gone ahead obviously coming through in when the player is still very, very, very grown. Mentality is something that you're supposed to instill in a player when he's still young. But most of the players are going to find there, he has found them when they're really grown. That's why he sort of hit that. Other players couldn't obviously run, but those other players couldn't run, but he supposed to either Foson Omori, Ahmad Diallo, Ganacho, can really the Dallas of this world can really run. But the Maguire's mentality is down. Uh, Rashford's mentality is down. You get even Bruno's mentality because sometimes you believe that he should be doing things better and he does the opposite. So I think the mentality is really huge in these moments because there is no way you can come out and tell me that you lead Coventry by three goals to nil and it goes to extra time. That is really uncalled for. I tell you, it's really uncalled for. Then on the focus again, he added on and said, we have a back four and have to make compromises and be really creative, but we can't sub players there as well. What you need is a full squad and you can take your messages from that side. Repair things, it's a matter of mentality and some game reading and an opposition takes more risk. We have to improve it. I need a full squad to repair that. For everyone who really thinks that, Eric Ten Hag is gonna really do wonders, then football is not meant for you. I tell you, all what you need as a player, all what you need as a manager is to be having your tools. I understand we are really having injured players, but even those players that would have wanted to come in through to do the needful have gone also get to be as the understudies, have also gone ahead to get injured. Now, if you put yourself in the seat of Eric Ten Hag, do you think you can be doing a, a lot better than what you're doing? The answer is no. Now, People are saying, at least would have gone ahead to be losing like that with the style of play. I tell you, I hate it when a person comes out and says that we need a different style of play altogether to obviously be playing well. So you mean you rather lose a game when you're really having a style of play or you rather win games when you're really winning them in an ugly way. I saw Arsenal on Saturday, I think it was on Sunday, winning against World Vampire and Wanderers and they really went ahead to put in a very good show. Sorry. They never went ahead to put in a good show, but they went ahead to win. So all you need to know is that sometimes you just need to find yourself killing off the game. That is it. So I think everyone will now understand what the manager is talking about, that you cannot really do miracles. It's not a miracle thing. It's really one of those things that you have to come out and really understand that you are missing out on your squad and you cannot really play very well. You remember... When Elizondo Martinez came in through Luke Shaw and very many others, Casemiro, we started to play on very well. And then a reset, sorry, a setback was got because all these players went ahead to get injured. Luke Shaw, Elizondo Martinez, you know. So I think no manager can really operate at that level if at all he's really having injuries. And if you're outside there and you doubt that, tell me a team that has ever gone ahead to obviously succeed when they've gone ahead to be into positions of really, 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 really having the worst of a play into the injured, into the injured players. So if at all your staff is really having problems, then you cannot really pull it off. You think Ateta would have gone ahead to do that with injured players? Look at how Manzit is doing. You know, they're really having players. You know, and they're and those players don't really get injured a lot. And that is one of the things that Ineos should address as up when they come in through. So guys, thank you very much for watching through. Smash the like button, comment and share. What you talk about, Garnacho's injury. Then Bruno also doubtful for the game of Sheffield. And Ten Hag calling out the journalists who think that he should be doing better without major players in his team that are really affected by injuries. I sign out for now. See you later. First video of the day. I'm going to return with the match day live. You know, sorry, the match preview. I think I'm going to stream it live. After this game of Arsenal and Chelsea really gets done, I'll come out here and really show you exactly what it's all about. Guys, 
Good night was going to bait. Ben White has just gonna hit to really make it two for the side of Arsenal. A comfortable lead. They're just really left with one goal to make it really comfortable. Trossard on target, man on fire. And I tell you, this team will be playing against Man United in some two weeks to come from now. Two or three. I think two. So, bye-bye.